Welcome, welcome. The show will begin shortly. As always, I'd like to give time for others to show. Talk will begin shortly. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the party, Magus. Begin in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the night show. I'm your host, Grand MC, your night of entertainment, the one, the only, TK, Diz, Isaac, Quisip, and Orin. You know what you can call me. I am your night host, the one who reads the night show, who travels through this keener entertainment to push back the sorrow and put a smile on everyone's faces. I don't know why I'm pausing here, but I am. <laughs> What was I going to say? I'm your night host, the one who reads the night time, who travels through the skin or internet. I push back this arrow, put a smile on your face. I feel like I've said all this already. I know what the line I'm looking for is. Or raise your flags, ignite the fire in your soul, and feel the spirit of liberation, because we're continuing the tale of Persona, or not Persona, <laughs> Unicorn Overlord. But, before we do anything, because I feel like we're at that point in this game. We're gonna do a grinding, a little bit of grinding. Yes, I know. I'm throwing in another grinding episode. Not a grinding episode, at least another grind. The day will be ours. Fair. My reasons for this is just because we're at a point in the, I think, in the game where we're getting reaching towards the end game, and I do want to make sure we're getting as many of the units as we can use. We're gonna grind and let them be more useful. Why not? Sometimes it's just nice to sit back and let our characters just, just play. Although, since we are doing a bit of grinding in this episode, maybe I might do more. Why don't I open for the chat? Sometimes I just don't chat with you guys. So, what's something interesting for all of you in the audience lately that's been going on? Well, here's all the PlayStation Tech demo. Welcome to the party, Cobalt. You've got this. Uh, and I'm just gonna make sure my wife five. Okay. Might be safe. Just 
a little magic? Want some? Victory grows ever closer. But yeah. Well, welcome to the party, you Cobalt. Me. Is this your first night show? <laughs> Also, apparently I've just noticed think something on my dash. It is now sub -tember. Save up to 30% on new subs until October 1st on... On... I'm not sure how that works, but I also don't know how bits work on this. I don't even know if we have bits activated. Feel free to try it out and see, but yeah. But yeah, I don't know what the whole benefits with uh, the sub September thing is, but hey, I'm getting 30% on sub, perfect time to subscribe. You can do it. And if you guys are interested, I do have those benefits for subscribing. Like for example, I'll do 10 push-ups. And perfect for, since we're getting close to this end, you do get the chance to, pick, to vote on my next game. And now that I think we've built up a whole bunch of Party, let's send out some people. I ride Live. Cornea. What shall I do? Yeah. And I always just say one person's name, but just a moment. I did not mean to do that. Elaine, will be come ours. back. The time is at hand. My Lost or why not? By a knight's honor. Begin the march. They train upon me. No! Caution now. Yeah, I will admit the whole thing with the PS5 is. I, don't know, I honestly, to myself, did not care for the Pro. But she's like, I got a perfectly good PlayStation 5. I don't need an upgrade. We can do this. Like, if I'm gonna upgrade anything, I would upgrade my yeah. laptop. I mean, this thing is, like, just apparently disconnecting me from Wi-Fi I, a little bit ago. I'm like, I don't know why. Oh, it's, like, it's getting too little for games. Like, it can't handle it. And honestly, I don't know how I feel like that. Nothing stopping me now. It was fate which brought us here. All right. Oh, yeah. It is an odd decision on Sony All on that. when some of these people are getting their asses whooped. Yeah, he's under leveled. Then again, I think a lot of Buster's team is. Whatever you need. Go kill him. I shall never yield. Kill it like the rest. Damn, many times those shows make a meme. I still remember Rassio Bridge and the cat. 
Does he actually know how to fuck cat or is he mess with us? Okay. You good? Yeah, it may as well be both. Victory is upon us! We mustn't stop here. What is our strategy? And because it's fun, take the watchtower! Hey, oh, yeah, Oh. I'm ever Rough. in your surf. It shall be done. Consider it out. I don't have a reason to the watchtower, I just want to. Lane, you ride over there. To me, we march. And we're also. Oh, I love blood of lane first. I shall never fail. Together now. I have you. So congrats on this. Don't even subscribe about messing with me. <laughs> Thank you for the subscribe. Cobalt. I'll not let this go. Decades of diligence bring their reward. Does that mean you need to see me do ten push? <laughs> you want to see me do I can't exactly show ten push-ups. But I will try to put you. I'll prove my worth. Someone see if you get my mic. Mic on. So you can at least hear me do the 10 push-ups. <laughs> Would you count that? <laughs> We're also, if you are curious on the channel, it does say the... Over here. Night, we have a goal of 10 subscribers. We have 9 more to go. Then we also should still have a Ocarina, but she's not counted for that goal. Unfortunately for this one. Remember, you can save up to 30% for on new subs. Apparently, that's presented by Valorant. I don't know how they affect that. I'll cut them down. Cobalt, if you did, Sorry, you know anything this. about that when you subscribe? Yeah. Did it say anything for you on that? Gotcha. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. And you're apparently watching without audio. How does that work? <laughs> also, how do you do that? I'm pleased with this. Don't resent me for this. A fruitful venture, I hope. Uh, now that he's claimed that, let's put up Verge in his unit. Uh, yeah, let's put You've up Verge in his unit. I won't disappoint. Hmm. You dare challenge me. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Wait, what do you mean? It's just a symbol, Cobalt. Like you get, you're getting a Valorant symbol, or what? With my aid. With all the might of the royal family, all to protect my home. Have I always held such potential? Watch what royalty is that all? Your villainy and well, the notes, the notes. So you actually are watch. <laughs> so wait, wait, so you actually were watching with audio. I'm looking back on the 
the dash monitor for it says it says watching without audio, which makes me curious. Unless that's what, exactly what the symbol is just supposed to mean. Generally curious. To be fair, it's been a while since I've w watched another streamer. Also, I just noticed. Sorry, I've been distracted I'm trying to keep a closer eye on the chat. I just realized we did not have Yana in the party. The path is set. Sucks. I like our little witch. Death summoned. It's a little creepy how she reminds us she's an old lady, technically, but I still like the character. Honestly, mate, as much as I appreciate the China comments, I don't know what the world would be like. Like, I don't know, maybe we still have the Twin Towers. Towers, like, it's... I'm very conflicted on feelings like with that. What would the world be like in certain situations? Like, because we don't know, I mean... There's no idea. Maybe the Twin Towers, maybe we wouldn't, something else would have been destroyed. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe the world would still be. See how it is. His expression when frozen. We march on. Victory grows ever closer. Vexing indeed, to me. All right, there's some bridge. All right, you I'm off. go there. This is another unit we technically should be adding more to because we have not put anyone. You know, I really do like that unit. Although Celeste, I feel like wasn't as strong as the other. One. All right, let's put Fran in because she deserves a bite too. Nowhere is too far. Stand ready. And let's put us. I hasten call on both of them. Well, I'm gonna let Virginia move closer to her target first because I'm pretty sure Fran will outspeed them. And they start walking along once they get that hasten call. Oh, she won't even be able to kill them anyways. Kneel before me. I mean, my thoughts on this 5 Pro is, well, to be fun, for me, it, it feels unnecessary. Like, for those who couldn't get a PS5 five back when, how much of an issue it was to get one when they originally came out, like, and yes, it was an issue. Like, for example, I don't know how many times I went to Target to try to get a PS5 and I couldn't, I like, I saved up cash to pay for a PS5. And it was no, nothing. I shall ease your pain. I couldn't get it, and I got lucky one day to get an email saying, "Hey, you got invited to sign up to try to buy one." And I got super lucky, especially when my big bro was helping me. Like while I went to go grab my lunch and everything, he like signed in for me and everything, and I was able to buy it online. But hell, when I told one of my friends around it, she was telling me, "Dude, you got scammed." And I was like, no, no, looks like legit. Dude from PlayStation, like I bought it and everything, went to their thing. 
And she apparently like was looking around and said, "Okay, yeah, you're good." But, much. I don't. but yeah, like the the but and that's how crazy. But like for the PS5 for like Pro for everything I've heard about it, it's like oh like no vertical, no disc drive, which. I get it, a lot of things like dicks have been kind of going the way like of physical, but like it seems weird not to put that in ahead of time. Like especially there are some people like me. I prefer prefer um, physical copies. Like I like having the game. Plus, I'm pretty sure digital takes more memory. But even then, it's like there's a whole lot like from what I can tell, the graphical dip. Pictures are near no difference, and like the se a seven hundred dollar price range just seems not worth it. Like I do wonder what is Sony's thought? Like why did they think to go for such a price? Um, such a crazy idea. Like one of the reasons I stopped getting Xbox is because the newer Xbox systems basically just seemed more like an actual meanest and just didn't interest me anymore. And that's saying something, because I went from 360 to 60, like, hell. When it comes out, I would love to see the new Fable game, and I'm going to have to buy it on PC, because there's no way I can, I'm not going to get an Xbox just for Fable. But, yeah, like, I got to be honest, I'm curious what, what um Tony's thought process was on the Pro, because it seems it's almost like double the price because if I remember what was the PS5 price when it came out Not finished yet. so the PS5 with a disc card was at least 500 well the all digital was 400 and I'm not gonna consider the adjust for inflation but if I so this is two hundred dollars for more than a regular PS5, but it doesn't have the disc drive. Which, as pointed out, that was it with disc. So, generally, we should be comparing it to the price of the PS5 when it PS5 for a non-disc one without the disc, or the only one that can do digital. Since technically it's more cool than the digital. That's 400 That's almost double the price. It's $300 more. And Better keep this going. Lost my headphones. Headset for it. So like, it's $300 more. The... You dare challenge me. So it's $300 more. And it doesn't have the vertical sandwich. Big whoop, you could potentially say, well, why does the PS5 need to stand up? You could technically lie it flat. Although, as I'm see seeing my PS5 that, you know, is standing up. With my aid. Up. But, like, the PS5, the PS4 never stood up. Correct me if I'm didn't stood up, or it may be just for I'm mixing up, because I've had two PS4s over my, my entire life. But the one I can still have is lying flat, so... Honestly, I can't say much about the vertical thing. I mean, for I can see the PS5 more supposed to stand, but for the Pro, like, why not include that? Like, why do you need to buy a stand just to control? That's like saying, oh, you need to drop $60 for a controller as well. It's specific. You want to buy the system with a controller because you want to play it. All right, now let's level some characters. Okay. Who just to make Gamel's unit a little more useful? Best thief in the biz. He's so low level. Now, since I did promise for subscribe, like I said, I know this won't be the best. For those who subscribe, I'll do ten push-ups. I know I'm not showing, but hey, you can at least hear me. I hope. So, one. Never see I'm not a man of my word. <sighs> Alright. Now we start with the grinding like I want it. Alright, what was on the pro? But yeah, my feelings on the pro are basically 
why. Welcome to the party, 1989. You just missed me doing 10 push-ups for every subscriber. Alright. Now, as we notice, our goal is to get to this island right here. Which we need to get to, but I need to find a certain port. And yes, there is a port that you're supposed to go to. I'm going to start looking for it. I keep being told it's the one where you started, but everywhere I look, I never find... I don't know where the fuck we started. <laughs> nope, not there, not there. Not there, not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. No, I feel like that's close. Not there. Not there. No, no. No, damn, where was it? The cornea. Oh, wait, actually, we should warp there real quick, actually. Because I remember how many times we ran over this wondering what this was about. We'd hear from one. I'll see if there's any star line left within. Here's what I managed to find a lane. It's always two. All right. Now, where is it? Nope. 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 Oh, yes! That's where we were looking for. Is it? Board a ship? Hey! We found it! Which, I mean, hopefully now, technically, we should be able to warp back here. Woo! Oh, I wonder what's the armor we can find. You're in the... So no shield needed. Uh... Be seeing ya. Let's see what we can do deliveries. Uh, and we'll station a guard. We're actually running out of people to send for guarding. Allow me, my prince. Alright. Fuck! Not sure what that was about. Side quest we never finished. Now we can do this at... One, view the rapport conversation between Elaine and Scarlet. You remember this place, Lane? Lex Knight used to waste hours in these woods, fashioning fallen branches into the makeshift swords. It did, and eating nuts from the trees until your stomach hurts, don't you forget? Yes, it's a rather embarrassing memory, and yet we'll still see them run in later. Well, hey, what are you guys doing out here? I could ask you the same thing, Lex. Oh, you know, I just figured I'd see how the island's been doing since we left. The old altar is the same as always, by the way. You used to get so mad at us for playing back there, Scarlet. That was actually more of a you problem, Lex, and only because you kept trying to climb the statue. <laughs> Guess so, yeah, huh? Better get go going. Someone's been killing me for some reason. Did he eat the nuts again? Still a slave to his habits, I see. Please tell me you haven't been eating any nuts at least. Or no, of course not. Thankfully, I will never have that problem. Now, I'm kind of curious because we've seen multiple... Oh, no. Is that the same chicken that ran into the water? Now, because I'm curious, because we had to wait to get all there. What is his other ones with Scarlet? And probably just easier to go and click Scarlet there. Yeah, I'm warping back here so we can see the conversation. How have you been feeling, Scarlet? Don't be afraid to ask if there's anything you need from me. I'm fine, thank you. But I have to say, you've turned into a real warrior ever since I was abducted. As I think should be expected given the circumstances. Still, I'm glad to know how much you care about me, Elaine. You must have been in some state while I was gone. Of course I was. 
I could barely even eat out of fear that I might have lost you forever. Really? It's only once you've been taken that I realized just how much you meant to me. Scarlet? Ah, uh, just like Mako. Just how much I rely on you every single day of my life. So even had we gone on to win the war in your absence, I would have felt no joy at the accomplishment without my dearest friend standing beside me. Is that what I am to you? <laughs> I feel the same way, Elaine. I don't want to lose any of my friends to this war. Not you, Lex, Chloe, or Sarah Jose. But we all make we all make it through alive. I'm sure of it. I mean, look at me. All that worry, and I'm still right here next to you. Things will work out. They have to. Indeed, you will. And by the way, Scarlet. What is it? Please don't leave me ever again. I wouldn't dream of it. You can actually beat the game, I think, without saving Scarlet. Although, you shouldn't. Alright. Ooh, and we got another co rapport conversation with her. This time, I'm just going to click right here. Now, where is it? View. Is everything okay, Scarlet? You seem rather irritated over something. Oh, just thinking of all the attractive women you've been talking to in the Liberation lately. <laughs> She's jealous. And men, don't forget, we need as many fighters as willing to... I'm sorry, I'm just going to pause here. He really doesn't get it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's it's <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing, but I just think it's because he completely just missed what the <laughs> hell he one of those things ah. <laughs> all right I'm good <laughs> if I receive you clue you'll deserve your attention far more than I do so you are upset not really, and I'm not jealous either, if that's what you're thinking. But with how long we've known each other, each other, it almost seems like it seem, doesn't seem fair that you keep leaving me out. If you ever wish to talk, you're free to insert yourself into any conversation I'm having. Everyone would be pleased to see you, I'm sure. <laughs> that's not what I... Why are you standing so close to me? Do you remember the little forest on Ilvia, much like this one? We often used to gaze upon its many inhabitants, always careful to keep our distance. Of course, Jose warned us not to wander the area at all without any adult, yet we did it anyway. Listen to me, Elaine. I... Hmm? Your face has gone completely red, Scarlet. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. I'm trying to say is I don't want someone else stealing you away from me. Whoops. So that's how you feel. No, I just was hoping we could talk more is all. I'm not some mere possession to be snatched away the moment you invert your eyes. Fair point. I know that. Yet I suppose this means you truly are jealous. <laughs> I'm not. Forgive me for not noticing sooner how you felt. I'll be sure to speak with you more often than from now on. You don't have to do that for me. It's not only for you, Scarlet. Today I realized how deeply I miss our conversations as well. Was he blushing at that? Really mean that? Hmm. I don't know what it took so you took you so long. Nor do I. All right. Now let's see who else do we got for convers com Support comments because I'm I'm enjoying reading the, the reports. I know I keep calling them supports, but they're they're the same thing basically. Pretty sure we did this one, yeah, because I remember. But why not, Adele? Everyone is quite busy with the rebuilding efforts here. We all have great joy in the responsibility. I wish you nothing but the best in your task as well. I was not trying to click on you, but okay. He's just the best leader any of us could ever ask for. Well, thanks for coming, Cobalt. See you next time. That's quite enough utilizing for, for one evening, Adele. Perhaps you should consider laying off the ale as well. But you agree with me, don't you? You gotta. I mean, imagine being younger than us and leading a whole army all by yourself. It might sound kind of weird to say, but I'm proud of him, you know? A guy like him is going to be a great king. I'm sure of it. 
Down with Zenoria. Long live the amazing King Elaine. Don't, please. There will be no telling what enemy soldiers might lie with your shot. Oh, um, tis a fine evening we're having, is it not? Your Highness, what are you doing here? Now this was worth coming to town for. A word, Adele. Please tell me you didn't hear all that. I mean, ahem. Seems your penchant for drunken outbursts has finally caught up with you. Forgive me, Your Highness. I'll not touch another drop of ale again, I promise. Calm yourself, Adele. I wasn't planning to scold you. In fact, I'm glad to hear how highly you think of me. Aww. It's not a bit embarrassed. If not a bit embarrassed by it. <laughs> Thank you for saying so, your highness. You're lucky he's as generous a man as, as he is, Adele. Anyone else and you would have been cast for our army and tell you- Really? I will say, being the implication of Adele just got drunk off ale, I'm more amused to think the sheer fact that a day- Because if you remember, his voice actor is Bryce Pavenbrook, aka the voice actor of Kirito, Rin Okuram, Makoto and. Makoto Naegi and Kamato- wait. Before I say anything more before I screw up. Yeah, Nag Nagato and Makoto. And Aaron Yeager. And a whole lot of other characters. Including Henry! <laughs> no one knows who I'm- I wonder how many people know what I mean when I'm referencing that. But, yeah. Like, he's Henry's voice actor as well. And, like, imagining any of those characters, especially my mind went just reading Kirito drunk, praising a king. Uh, and I laugh. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read another support convo, because, like I said, I'm enjoying these. They're making me laugh. And I hope you guys are enjoying... Damn, we are... Wait, did we already view this one? Which one was this? I don't remember this one. Okay, so we did just see this one. Does he not have a, a B1? Okay, I just accidentally somehow clicked this again. Oh, does this mean it's supposed to be in the same area? No, that's Elaine and Mordon. I'm seriously confused. He implies there's a combo, but it just went. Does he only have two support combos with him? Okay, we can't. Wait, we haven't done this one. East of Hildy Town, condition to liberate Hildy Town. Where's Hildy Town? Is there a part here we haven't found? I mean, I know this area we haven't technically. Okay, fuck it. I want to kind of explore this. This is this interests me. Like, what is this area we haven't reached yet? There's nothing here. And yet, there is apparently somewhere on our map we're supposed to be right here. Okay, let's stabilize this area. Fools, none can withstand the enfeebling nature of my curses. No, I guess this is it. And here I thought we'd come out of nowhere. Alright. The Battle for Hildy. Liberation Command Host is captured. Alright. I'm gonna send two units out here. Well, for. Actually, no, yeah. Cause she hasn't. They haven't seen much I'll combat take, lately. What would you have me do? To the skies. And yeah, cause they also haven't had much units. Fun. Well, going. Although they're much stronger than this quest now. You'll never win. Stand tall. Together. Cheer up. A little 
must have hurt. I'm also kind of curious for any of those who stream or watch watch things on uh on Hulu. Have you ever noticed a Hulu show like skip some episodes? Like it says you're watching one episode when you rally you never finished the episode beforehand. Didn't kill? Weird. What would you have me do? The reason why I bring up the thought is so I was watching Solar Opposites. I know it's the same show by Rick and Morty's creator or whatever, the same people who did Rick and Morty, but unlike that one, I kind of enjoy it more. And Rick and Morty's usually just uh, turn it on for the fun of it and whatever. I won't lose. But where was I? Anyways, yeah. So watched it, like one of the episodes. I noticed half the episode, like when I was watching episode one. Like, Is this what happened in the episode last? Well. I curiously went back to look at my episode list and <laughs> realized there's a whole bunch of episodes I'm pretty sure I skipped over somehow because who like didn't play them. Like it somehow went past the episode and played another thing. My Griffin will get a treat for this. I'll handle this. To the skies. Whatever you Something's say. just making me like curious like Don't even what? Worry. This should be quick. I'm wondering like what causes that? Because that's kind of really annoying. The Fae protect us. My magic is yours. Especially because one of the reasons I thought Hulu like deleted half the episodes of the show, and like, what the oh, fuck? And I like, I want to watch that. Let me see the new episodes. I feel like we've seen that name before, but it's I hope I can help. still intriguing. I'm on my way. Just like old times. What about you in a tower is old times? I'm generally curious. You're safe. How excited she is with her griffin. What would you have me do? Understood. There was another person wait. there? Okay then. Stand tall. Yield to me. Sometimes it's just nice to see my character like just cross and wreck people. I'll catch you in two. What? Only sad thing is he didn't get a chance to steal. Now, this I'm gonna do two things. I'll handle this. Uh, Valor's skill, haste and call. I 
feel wonderful. What would you have me do? Uh, I'm okay, on right my here. Way. This is I'll handle this. Understood. I won't lose. The Fae protect us. They're probably not getting much XP from this since, you know, they're all higher level than it. What would you have me do? The level thing, but the at least they're getting something. Plus, Gamel's unit is at least win. higher. Stand tall. Say it for the episodes because I don't know which one I prefer. Both have their moments. I like it. Rosalind teasing, teasing. Um, what's his name? We make a great team. Elaine. I know it's your last piece. Stanima, kill. I'm on my way. If you don't, Kamal's getting this should a kill. Be quick. Not getting much of a rest because that was the end of the map, anyways. But I am honestly surprised we did have more areas to clear because I honestly got thought we cleared every liberation. Other than like the one story we haven't done. Yeah, we had been playing for 60 minutes. As I know, it's a cheap laugh, but it still puts a smirk on my face. Our town used to be so pretty before Zenoria showed up. Thanks for saving us from them. And now, even though we probably don't need this anymore, I'm still gonna just do this real quick, cause why the hell not? Man, you can actually notice that someone enormously has returned to our town. It's all thanks to your kindness, humans. I feel like being called a human, but after we just did all this to help you, but I'll Your take it, I guess. Shall not be misplaced. Right, so it looks like we unlock two or so four. Ooh. There's a black market dealer right here of all places. Ah, oh, another sigil. We've only a few remaining now, by my estimates. What's left? It is a great honor indeed to have aided your search, so we aided. I never would have begun if not for you. Now then, allow me to activate the sigil's power. Now here's the, th you know, fuck it. I'm gonna do this also training map right now because, well, we might as well. I'm pretty sure we get stuff from doing all of them, so. All right. Celeste. Take wind. What would you have me do? To the skies. Elaine for guarding the base. The time is at hand. And Gamel. How about a little fun? Spit it out already. 
Yep. We're not safe here. You'll never win. So that is the best win. The Fae protect us. Actually, no. Go to go to the ballista, which is probably why she was screaming that they're not safe. This should be quick. You're safe. And he's the highest level here, so I don't think he would be scared. Plus, what can hit him? So, where are you looking? <laughs> that was close. How embarrassing! Was expecting more. Good doing business. Uh, the better question is where I'm going to have him go next. You'll never win. The Fae protect us. Send you right there. Wait, which one of them has a healer? Got a knife with your name I say that when I literally forgot Sharon is in that team. <laughs> There's the healer. It's got a little white mage. I do you feel bad that, that doesn't mean Travis ended up nowhere in our party that was useful? Yeah, maybe I'll put him back in, um, I'm gonna call it. Uh, so that's the party. Allow me. That's what you get. Poor excuse for a soldier. Spit it out already. Damn, hearing Gamel of all Don't people say worry. that is just harsh. I won't lose. Stand tall. This will be cold. 
that. Good Griffin! In perfect sync. I hope I can help. To the sky! The watchtower. I'll cut you in two. Huh, that's more than I was expecting. Oh, there's a lot more in that group than I thought. I did not know if they're gonna die. Point out our thief is the unit led by the thief is holding the line. Like again, this is one of the only games you could probably say a thief is a tankable class. For example, for how many times I prepare this game to Fire Emblem, and in a way it is a very Fire Emblem influence. The thief is not a tank class in Fire Emblem. I would want him to. Oh wait, I forgot a lane's there anyway, so it's not what would you a worry. Have to do? Understood. I'll cut you in two. Soldier. And now that safe. side's all cleared up. Let's yep. send him over there. You'll never win. Damn. Now she's gonna claim that, which actually I'm gonna let this knight charge at us. I won't lose. Stand tall. You. 
and the amount of times we've heard her say good griffin, it just it makes me smirk because it just shows how much she loves her mount. Which is nice and cute. Feed the boss kill too. I'm on my way. Right. You'll never win. The Fae protect us. I think she still has stamina because she's not was not able to kill in the one. This should be quick. Stand tall. Use all these new buffs and increase the attack power for one attack. Is that a good ability? We need to stand still, just for a moment. Apparently now you don't because you are literally as high level as you used to be. do with all of our honor. Phantom Knight Sword. Honestly, that sounds like a cool name. Fascinating. We've earned a reward for our first success in the Civil Trial. Though given everything we know about them, I should hardly be surprised at this point. In case there are still more sigils elsewhere in Fenrith, let us be off. Where? I have no idea. Like, honestly, I'm not sure how much of the map we don't have uncovered. It says we have 91%, but a lot of the map I think we've uncovered. Because this I don't think leads anywhere. But since we got more of those XP books, we're going to use them. Um... You know, let's use them on Celeste's team. Like, I've grown you can probably use this one. To protect those who can't protect themselves. I've grown stronger. Heavy counter. Counterattack a single enemy. Hey. Alright, now we got some combos we can read. I was in Scarlet. Let's wait a little before we leave that. Lane and Adele. Your Highness. What is it, Adele? Well, I... I want to apologize for my actions. 
back in the tavern corner. Ah, I love Do you mean that drunken evening you did nothing but sing my praises? I do indeed. Then I've already told you, I was glad to hear you say such things. Though perhaps you should consider keeping your voice down in the future. I will, your highness. But if I may, I truly do believe... He... Sorry, I'm going to pause just for a sec because I want to note something I find funny in that line is that he said the idea is, again, this is a Bryce Pavin book, a character voiced by him. A lot of his characters are loud and shout. Him keeping his voice down is just funny. I truly believe you will be one of the finest kings Orlando has ever seen. Do you now? Forgive me if this comes across as rude. But I would feel the same even if you didn't belong to the royal family. Your leadership and kindness you show your soldiers comes not from day to day in the castle, but those you s spent marching with our army. So be it doesn't so it doesn't matter if you're the crown prince or just simply a simple commander. To me, you're everything Cornea should ever hope for in a ruler. I thank you for saying so, Adele. But I wonder where this outpour of emotion even comes from. It's simple, really. It's my ale-perfumed words at the tavern that were enough to please you. Then I thought I should reinstate the sentiment while in full command of my senses. I want you to know that I truly feel and want I want you to be certain that it comes from me, not the alcohol. I'm sorry to interrupt it though, but how long do you plan on flattering me for? Are you alright, your highness? Your face is as red as mine after a long night of drinking. That was a nice combo. And now, because I'm generally curious how this one goes. First, I need a drink. So excuse me while I drink. Mm. Has anyone ever taught you it's dangerous to be out alone in the middle of the woods of the, of the night? Here, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Visit the Dark Elf who decided to join us. Yes, and you're the only... You're the attractive little friend Elaine seems to be so enamored with. <laughs> I wouldn't say he's enamored with me, or I'm, attr that attr I'm attractive for that matter. Yeah. We have known each other for a long time now. Is there a reason you've turned away from me? I'm just trying to be friendly, you know? You and Elaine seem to have gotten close rather quickly. It's closer than I intend to get with him. You and I... Though... A, that seems a simple enough fix to me. Just stand right beside him and tell him how exactly how you feel. <laughs> She's blonde, but it's never that easy. Don't make it sound so easy. Besides, we're at war. There's no time to be distracting him with something as trivial as love. You have apparently never been in the fire on the fates. Trivial is it? I guess you wouldn't mind me stealing him away while you're busy holding yourself back. Of course I might. I knew you had your eye set on him. Who's to say? And while I love to put that theory to the test, elves like you live a lot longer than humans. Is it even possible you happily marry one of our kind? Perhaps not, but a time and age means nothing when it comes to matters of the heart. Grr, mark my words, Rosalind. I won't lose the fight for, fight for Elaine, even to someone as gorgeous as you. <laughs> well, what an adorable girl. It only makes me want to tease her all the more. It amuses me how much of a tease she is. I like these uh, support conversations because it shows the characters. It gives us more. I like that. Like. To compare it to another Fire Emblem game, we're seeing more of these characters. We're getting more of the story. And that, I think, is good. Because one of the myths, again, with Fire Emblem Awake, not Awakening, um, Shadow Dragon. My opinion on the first game, it is that first game remake, it is shit. Like, I'm actually glad I ended up not putting money towards that game. Oh, this is more conversation. More conversation over here. I wonder who this is. Oh yes, more of Elena Re Raynor. So just pause to make my point. Actually, I don't need to pause. I can just do triangle. But yeah, to make my point, point like, so regarding the characters, like you basically would recruit a character and nothing. And this is the game that started the franchise of Fire Emblem. We started with Marth's game. When it was rumored. I'm glad I played it on DSM later because I hated Shadow Dragon. Like, I actually still look down on. It's one of the worst examples of a remake. Like, for those of you who've played Pokemon, think back to all the Pokemon remakes we've had. Fire Red and Leaf Green. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Alpha Omega. 
Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. And Diamond, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond are the worst remakes I've seen on other Pokemon. Like, every other Pokemon game has added at least more. Fire, Red and Leaf Green added the Sebi Islands. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I'm blanking on what exactly they added, but I do feel like they changed at least something. Alpha Sapphire gave us the Delta episode and all that. Hell, it gave us a... A final rival battle that we did not have in the original. And Diamond and Pearl basically just felt like the same goddamn game. Just updated graphics. And that's what a remake should not be. That's a remaster, not a remake. Terra Rosalind awaits you near the light of the moon. My prince, go to her. I'm sorry? I hope this trist is enjoyable for you as it surely will be for her. Slow down a moment. Please, what is it you expect from me? As I said before, I wish for you to appease Terra Rosalind. And have you told her I would be coming? I have not. She always has enjoyed a pleasant surprise, you see. Now get over there, this instant. But I... Go! Did she slap him? Ah! Are you hurt? I'm, I'm fine. Only a mere twist of the ankle. I wish you had... Certain... In any case, you shouldn't bear weight on it until we can certain it's only a sprain. Here, allow me to carry you to the healer. Leave me, I beg you. You mustn't miss your interview with Terra Rosalind. This isn't the time for your schemes, Relinor. I'll only speak with her after I'm certain you're better. Ah. Are well, you kind of walked into that one? It was a little more than a minor strain. In the end, you were fortunate. Indeed, nothing was broken. I suggest you seek out Rosalind after this as well. She seems rather worried about you when I told her what happened. You aren't upset with me after all I've done? All my failed schemes, as you so eloquently put it? You're only acting out of concern for your lady, Relinar. I would never be upset at loyalty as fiercely as yours. A loyalty which seems you ever committed to our army and its well-being as well. So please, take this opportunity to revel in about a much-deserved rest. Elaine, I... What is it? I don't know what I have done to earn such a sympathy from you. There's nothing to earn, earn. Purely a matter of force. In any event, I should be going now. The others have needed me back in camp. There you are, Relinor. I was so worried about you. I could barely sleep. Forgive me, Terras. Don't apologize. The only thing I want from you is to take better care of yourself. Then that's precisely what I'll do. Oh, I'll see your lead. I'm actually curious now, something I want to check because I'm curious about that. Because I noticed this with earlier ones, but. Do we have two or three conversations with Wear and Lar? Huh, the another one, there's only two. It's weird. Okay, before we do anything else, I want to see what what this one is. Read the comment. Well, one sec.
I'm sorry. Got distracted by a message I wanted to send. So let's review this. I know we're doing this a rapport conversation. Maybe help. If you guys want, I can do a whole episode where we just look at these. I have to know, Elaine. What was your first impression upon arriving in Elheim? It would have been the greenery, of course, because honestly, these support conversations are fun. I keep saying support, but they're rapport. It's far more wondrous land than Cornea with nigh untouchable divinity to it all. Time to solitude. It's even felt as though the trees themselves were likely to pick me up and carry me off to unknown shores. I can't deny the possibility. Our forest is a beautiful place indeed, yet shall know no sympathy towards the, those who threaten it. And while Zenorius and Crotrus may have robbed the Fae of much of their strength, I'm certain they are ever vigilant in studying your actions, and presumably still are. Let us presume, then, the forest were restored to its natural state. Would a mere word from your lips be enough to make me vanish for the rest of the time? If the breath of evil in your heart demanded such measures, then yes. Damn. Yet I can't imagine that ever being the case. Not for the man who was so brave in delivering me from Zenoria's gas. My faith in you shall not waver, Elaine, no matter what events may lie ahead. Damn. I can't see the rest of her, her support with them. We do have another one. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm going to view this one real quick because I really do want to see what it is. What is this? Because this, these conversations are intriguing. She had a second combo. It's a fine morning, Elphalyn. Indeed it is, my prince. I pray the day ahead shall prove a fruitful one. Is something the matter? This distant formality is far removed from the joyous girls of days prior. Speak of the moment you and the others came upon a rare variety of poisonous herbs here in Cornea, of course. And what a delightful moment it was, yet such outfits are wholly inappropriate for one of my standing. There are rules I must uphold as the Toronos of Elheim. A ban on consorting with foreign dignitaries, chief among them. No matter where my own personal feelings may- wait, wait, what? May lie on the subject matter. Yet in my view, you seem fulfilling that duty perfectly well. When the occasion calls for it, you command great esteem in your role as Toronto's. While at others, you simply let yourself exist as a mere elf among friends and nothing more. I suppose the issue here is my wishing to be your friend. But all you did was, ev was express your delight at finding an herb. Anyone would be free to do the same, no matter what nation they are. Elthon, you misunderstand. I speak not of my behavior when cons concerning with others, but rather the emotions I've begun to bear for you. Elthon, I yeah, their sprites definitely change to reflect blushing. Forgive me, I didn't mean to grab your hands like this. She says that with her hands was over her face. Their past my doing so is testimony in itself, proof of the relationship I wish to foster with you. I wouldn't mind were that the case. Okay, we have to max out this support because I want to see how this ends. Okay, now before we're going to do that, we're going to find out, let's go to one of the cities and see if we can't order food, because I want to try and see if we can Thanks max out Elf One's combo. Yeah, let's do the 200 one. Alright, Elaine. Virginians. Rosalind, why not? Or Elf One, we, we don't need to do Rosalind. Oh no, we got money. I have a feeling you'll like this. Like shit, we have a whole bunch of. I'm happy with this. There's weapons we could probably sell that we don't Simply use. Inspiring. Some meal that. Drop by again anytime. 
Do we only get a rap bar conversation for Elaine with Virginia? Yeah, looks like we gotta do it again. Thanks for stopping in. All the sandwiches. Season Gourmad, eight ten meals on tavern. Damn, it's funny what they consider achievements. Also, I just read easier way to probably check this. Let's get another meal of for sandwiches. I have a feeling you'll like this. I'm not really that worried about the I'm happy with this. Gold because we have a whole bunch of swords, like other weapons we probably just sell for money. Now we got the combo. Another way would have also been good to check. Now let's put Shree Clive. Along with we should probably view that one as well. Alphalyn? What is it, Elaine? Forgive me the outburst, but I can't say I much expect you to embrace me like this. It's a method I learned from one of my retainers. According to them, the best way to show a deep affection for someone is by holding them close and not letting go. That's not entirely incorrect, yet you find my actions odd, I understand. It is a difficult matter indeed to actively study customs not found within the Elheim's borders. Ah, that explains why you seem so uncomfortable in doing so. You're blushing, Elaine. For years, yes, we both are. I can't tell if her surprise got a blush. Perhaps I should have known this would be a struggle. How do you mean? I was only attempting to imitate your traditions, as I was taught. Yet all the while my heart pounded in my chest. I meant to be the leader of my nation, but these feelings only make it more difficult to maintain the distance such a, a role requires. Should our association prove a hindrance to the war effort? Ah, Elaine. I don't want to maintain that distance with you, Elphalyn. And the more our roles demand we stay at arm's length, the more I want to pull you close to me. I mean, I'm happy to know that I'm not the only one struggling with this. But try as we might, there will come a time when we'll have to leave each other. It is simply the reality of our differing lifespans. Lifespans, yes. That's all the more reason to spend as much time together now as we possibly can. You may be right, Elaine. And since we're right here and there's a support conversation right here, we might as well. Again, I know it keeps saying support. It's a report. Sometimes I wonder, Patrice, how would matters have stand now had you never been cast from our order? Quite a question, that. If not that fateful day, the two of us could have raised the banner of liberation together. Not soon across the nation like so much shattered glass. And you were literally both on the banner of liberation. You think so? Nice work back there, old man. Keep that up and you'll get handpicked for the Royal Guard in no time. I mean... Is that what you're after, right? Feels like Queen Alinea is not the only thing you talk about sometimes. Quiet, girl. I was going to say, is that... And would it pay you to call me Captain for once? I was wondering. So, I know they say Alinea is smart, but I still don't know about a woman leading our... Wow. I mean, she's letting Drake and Hold practically walk all over us. We'd never be that spineless if I was in charge. 
What was that about our queen? Say it again, I dare you. You want to fight, bastard? Let me his little lapdog sure has some bark today. But do you have the fight, galley? Easy there, old man. Or do you really want to throw away your shot at the Royal Guard over a pair of nothings? Damn the Royal Guards. I will not let these knaves speak of our queen however they wish. Guess I only got one choice, then. That's enough of you two. Take back what you said, and we can all walk away happy. And why should I? I was only speaking the truth, you know? Come on. Come here. I need to get some payback for earlier. Wait. Uh, too late. Nah. I'm gonna pay for that. If you're expecting me to say thank you for that outburst of yours, it won't happen. Didn't think it would. But hey, at least now you've still got a chance of making the Royal Guard. Besides, it turns out those two were up to some nasty stuff behind our backs. I have no sympathy for fools who can't understand the bounty our queen provides, and they certainly have no right to serve her royal name. By the way, are you going to punish me or what? Fighting the ranks probably gets me expelled, huh? Just like them. Such is the sentence, yes. Well, maybe it's for the best thing. You go on and enjoy the capital. So for me, I think a mercenary fits me better than a knight. Damn, so that's how she... She'd become... I'm a mercenary. Even back then, I knew you would never initiate a fight without fair reason. Tempted to appeal as such on your behalf, but there was only so much I could say, not having been present myself. My words were dismissed as though as they were mere air. Not that it would have mattered, of course. You never stopped insisting you had struck first. You were protecting him, weren't you? If only you had told the truth, Benice. Then what? I would have stayed with the Ash and Blue. Some good that would have done. We'd have lost the provenances in order whether I was there or not. So yeah, I might have walked a different road, but all of them led to the same spot. And I don't regret it, if that's what you're wondering. The old man would have done anything for Elenia. And so would I have... And so he would have done anything for her, and, betray, and yet he still betrayed her in the end. Let's not forget that. The guy was an asshole. Another report conversation? Eh, not right this minute. I think you guys all want a break from these com combos, and we did have some goal of going to the island right now, so let's go take care of that. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing more of these support conversations, I will gladly just take some time and just make an episode of just listening and even trying to get them. Because honestly, they're interesting combos. No, the chicken's back. Fuck! I'm guessing that's a side quest, because it seems really weird that we would not... There's something there. I still don't have any shards for these. Pray, bring me in divine search you happen to come across. I could have gone into the town the entire time. So it's another one of the chicken side quests. No, eh, why not? I want to say, I don't mean to wallow, but my four chickens escaped from their coops this morning. It's only natural that you worry about such things. We would be gl glad to round up them off if we have the chance. Fuck! Now we can go. That's one of them. There should be three chickens remaining. See chicken number two. Ooh. Now we're going to the water. And we ran into the altar of the unicorn and the maiden. This is it. The same altar I saw in our texts. The ring, Elaine. Looks like I was right. What do I do next? Come back here with the person hmm. you've chosen for the right. Maybe. Offer them the ring of the maiden, and you're done. That is, if they accept. Doing so should unleash the power. I'm just reminded of you, you say pies, but you know what I'm reminded of? But the uh, is there more? Chicken side quest uh, from Final Fantasy the Seven Covenant Rebirth. Between unicorn and maiden requires both sides to be of one mind and one heart. If either betrayed the pact they swear at this altar, 
they would face terrible consequences. At least, according to the texts. I'll have to keep that in mind. You're a little close, Rosalinda. Mm. <laughs> Is there someone you're thinking of asking? Considering the risk, I'd suggest you give the ring to the person you trust most. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen chicken run. Well, hell, I'm not even sure if I saw it. Last time I think you mentioned they were making a sequel to it. I think I was thinking of Chicken Little. God, I'd love to know how they make a sequel to that film. Head back to the altar once you made up your mind. Elaine can only perform the Rite of Covenant with an ally he bears a deep and profound connection with. So, for those of you who are probably curious, that means someone you probably maxed out your, support, your report with. Which we, we've only done with is Scarlet, Chloe, Yana, Adele, Rosalind, Ethelin, and Rainar. I'm going to do Rosalind because she's made me laugh. Could you perhaps stand back a bit? Mm. Yeah, I can see that blushing red. I see someone's made up his mind. I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. You realize accepting would make me the Queen of Cornea, yes? Naturally. And what? Is that all you have to say? Tell me how you truly feel, Elaine. I love you, Rosalinda. From the very bottom of my heart. And I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my days at your side. Well, that's more like it. I'm ready. This... This is the happiest day of my life. I might well, not have been you're chosen as Trodenos, but to be chosen by you is all the greater. Just now I'll be awfully furious if you go dying before me. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a demand I can meet. Elves live for far longer than mere humans, after all. Then I suppose Cornea will have to get used to my solitary reign. Well, and being ruled by now. Rolling beside you, perhaps I could try holding on just a bit more. Right in the covenant. Thus, the ring has been restored to its true power. I'm sure it will help when the time comes to face Galerius. Let's head for the sanctuaries, Elaine. I'm sure the sages will lend us their strength now that the ring is restored to its true power. But we're going to wait on doing that at least. Maybe. I still want to know where on the map we have not actually traveled to. Like, that's a mountain area. I don't think we haven't. Like, this feels like somewhere we're supposed to cover, but... So we never figure out the situation of the carvings. Actually, is this an area we've ever been to? And I answer myself as I asked it. We have not been here. Which means it makes me wonder. Well, we should have been here. I don't know what to say, other than thanks. This little town might be a bounce back because of you. I'm glad to do it. Yeah, we're definitely in here because I can see there's a boat right there. Where 
legit have we not got? We've only covered barely 98. 92%. Oh, we've definitely been this way. Well, I guess we're gonna go to our first sanctuary. Forgive me for prying, Berengaria, but why have you asked to join us here? Baltro, I want to know more about the man who thinks he can tamper with other people's minds. I have a few other questions for this sage of yours, too. I'll start by offering a prayer to the sanctuary. He who bears the ring of the unicorn. Present its grandeur before me. Excellent. Hope you're in the explaining mood, Sage. There's a sorcerer working with Galerius. Goes by the name Baltro. What can you tell me about him? The man was a true prodigy. If ever one has deserved the title. His aptitude for magic was, in a word, peerless. A gift he employed with little concern for sense or morals. Twas through that disregard that he birthed arts as magnificent as they were monstrous. The right of channeling chief among them. Is that how the devil still lives? By possessing the body of another? Baltro himself has no need of such trickery. While the lost souls of ancient Zenoira's people have long stood confined within the sacred grounds of the sanctuaries, Baltro has remained in the realm of the living, sustaining his twisted physical form for centuries upon end. How? Oh, no. survivor of a fallen empire. Not but with some like. souls have been locked away. How exactly was he able to summon them? It's almost like he's not, he didn't, he's not being possessed though. A potent mm. medium capable of circumventing the bar gate to the beyond. Once the desired soul was summoned, he wielded the right of channeling to convey it into a yet living host. Tis a feat, I presume, only possible for a man of Baltrus and Fern aptitude. Crystals of transference. I can't say I've ever heard of them myself. I bet they're real tough to come by. Otherwise, he'd have brought back the whole damn empire by now. You make a good point. I've got one more question for you, Sage. This armor I'm wearing, it's not the only set. There was another up in Albion recovered from the sanctuary when Zenoira first started knocking. The way I hear, it was the Pontifex who found it, gave it to a guy named Nigel not long after. Oh? So, I was wondering, this place have any old gear you're looking to part ways with? Alas, all armaments stored within these walls have long since been evacuated. Yeah. Yet the power of cleansing remains pure and true. Grasp it tight. And it shall surely bring you succor in the days to come. Your will is mine own, righteous prince of Cornia. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Oh, good. That means Ready? hopefully Elaine can get the, the power for a sword. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. What brilliant light. Sacral Axe! Look, the power of the cleansing has taken physical form. It looks to be quite an impressive armament as well. Well, one we must be sure to make proper use of. Now then, we still have five sanctuaries remaining. Let us be off. And that axe is going to... Fran. That sounds like a weird choice, but she is definitely one of our strongest units. 
and I see no reason she should not have have it. Okay, she's not getting it because of the health drop would be really not worth it. But where is where is Gloucester? Actually, would Gloucester that would that really be good for Gloucester? Let's see how it works for Gloucester. Do you think you're gonna steal axe this entire time? Okay, it, it it's gonna be better for him, especially the trade-off with the skill. And no, no, you still didn't even leave. You. Wow, that's actually worse than what he has. Okay, then. Yeah, no new axe for you. All right, we covered what we wanted here. We get all these places. I really wish sometimes they would make sure the map looks like it's been. Okay, I really want to know what, where do you need to do to get these carvings? We keep seeing all these carvings, but yet we've done nothing with them. All right, I guess let's check out another sanctuary. I think I'm gonna look up the carvings because they make me curious. But, oh, well, we've never been up there. I want to find my way up there actually now. Especially, is that another shrine thing? No. It, That might not have been a boss, but still makes me... I've scouted the runes in your majesty and found an urn of holocoid and ash. What that actually makes me wonder is, where is the actual opponent here? Because the fact that there is apparently a unit here makes me feel like that means we didn't clear this area. Which makes me wonder, where is the actual bad guy? I know it's a weird thought, but... Weren't these the meaning that there should still be an area we need to liberate here? Sanctuary. He who bears the ring of the unicorn, present its grandeur before me. Your efforts are commendable indeed. I shall grant you my might. But Galerius' ambitions may at last be foiled. If you'll allow me a question first. Galerius asserts himself Emperor of the Fallen Zenyran Empire. But I wonder, do his claims ring true? They do. Mm. He is a man dangerous beyond all reason or belief. In truth, Zenoira's people were not born on Fevreth's soil, but hailed mm. from another continent. Beyond the great seas. Their populace enjoyed countless years of peace and prosperity, ushered in by magical advancements of the highest order. Yet, after a contested succession sparked civil war, 
The very magic which once enhanced their lives now stole them away instead. And by the day Galerius emerged victorious, Zenorima was not but barren wastes, inhabited chiefly by the corpses of the damned. Faced with such cold conclusion, most would have considered him a king absent a kingdom, yet Galerius would not be denied his reign. Mustering what few pitiful subjects remained in the realm of the living, he set off to seize a new shore as his own, Fivrith. Then the ancient Zenoira we're familiar with was actually an invading army from a far-off continent. The modest mm. fiefdoms which dotted Fevrith could but thrash and flail beneath Galerius's insurmountable might. Only Elheim, shielded by the bows of the divine Evelda, was spared utter decimation. If that same conqueror now blights our lands as well, can we assume General Valmor was possessed by his soul? I don't believe we can. An energy so ineffably evil like Wait, wait. Valmor didn't get possessed? Entirely. It feels like he was cursed or possessed by something. But let's see how this plays out. Revived through the right of channeling, slaying the host would banish his soul back to the frigid gates of the beyond. Yet, to judge by the monstrous aura surrounding him, I fear the task far too great for such crude methodology. No matter the truth of it, Galerius must be stopped. And the power of cleansing housed within these walls shall hearten that pursuit. Tis yours, should you but accept it. Your will is mine own, righteous Prince of Cornea. Hmm. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer, the sanctuaries of Fevrith further seek your call. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. Brilliant light. Sacral Bulge. Look. The power of the cleansing has taken physical form. Looks to be quite impressive armament as well, one which we must be sure to make proper use of. Now then, we still have four sanctuaries remaining. Let us be off. Who would that actually be a good idea of? But also something else I'm thinking of. Since we gave her as you know, which also means I really do need to level Rosalind, because if she's actually the one with the Ring of the Unicorn, she's a weapon that she literally is probably one of the best, they're not weapon, one of the best items she can get, and her not using it would probably really make her a lot, make our team a lot u less useful. I knew it, he doesn't have the Ring of the Unicorn on anymore. Yeah, that's a massive stat boost. Actually, makes me now wonder. I almost haven't seen us try this in a while. You who bear the blood of Cornea's kings, unsheath your blade and assert your rightful place among the monarchs of legend. Can we actually beat him now? We can if we're not using Elaine's team, it looks like. Damn. I'll make Elaine a little stronger before I go. See, I wonder. Where's the one we had gotten? We just got it. I should actually 
Okay, crit. And then, you know, I think you use that a lot. So giving you another accessory is probably a good idea. Now I'm kind of curious. We just read that, so I don't want to read it again. Yes! This works! Same ability as us. Uh... Crit City! Okay, you got a Crit City out on as well. Nice pursuit meant nothing. Go on. Focus your mind. Damn, his cover ability did not help him. You can do it. Mirage stab. Want some? I was gonna say there's almost your front line. There's the front line. Truly marvelous. Not only have you earned the affection of your citizens, you have demonstrated the strength that required to see them safe best even the most temperous seas. Future King of Cornea, taking your hand, the sacred blade, and vanquish the evil which plagues our land. Holy Unicorn Blade. That sword, tis truly, it's really done, your highness. It is the very soul of Cornea made manifest, entrusted to me by my own grandfather. I hope I can honor his memory and that of my ancestors who rest in this tomb. I have no doubt you shall do that and more, my friends. Trooper trophy unlocked. All right, well, that means it's time for Elaine. Damn, he, he's been played this long without ever giving him a new blade. I have not been giving doing well with getting him weapons. I wonder what the hell's over here. We've seen this. No, we've seen that before. Then, but not now. We'll do one more sanctuary and then we'll, well actually we'll see how long the sanctuaries go and then we'll see what we do next. I'll start by offering a prayer to the sanctuary. He who bears the ring of the unicorn present its grandeur before me. So the ring is restored at last. You have done well. If I may ask a question, you said that if we wished to match Galerius' might, we would first need to unbind the ring's power. But I wonder, why did you bid us return here after? That I may bestow upon you the power of cleansing, accumulated within these walls over the passing of centuries. Do you imply the renewed ring is not enough to defeat him? It is not. If you wish to bring such events to bear, you must usher the souls of Zenoira's people to their long-awaited salvation. The Zenoira of old was an ancient kingdom, said to have fallen in a single cursed night. Damn! What do its denizens have to do with this? 
The night you allude to was that of failed ceremony, one in which they relinquished their corporeal forms. For countless years they suffered in discarnate agony, consigned to merely watch as a new world sprung forth from their own. As you may expect, the weaker hearted among them succumbed first to madness, then to an unyielding, rabid lust for evil. Tis only by the power of the sanctuaries that such wicked souls were put to slumber, sealed away in a realm known solely as the Beyond. And Galerius used me and my father to break that seal. Quite so. He has torn open the scene between the land of the living and that of the dead. A scene through which he shall unite their beings, till neither one is distinct from the other. Then we know now what Galerius seeks. To resurrect the souls of ancient Zenoira. Surely he wants to bring back his ancient kingdom. This world will be met with grave disaster. Yet that is why our sanctuaries exist. Make use of our strength and bring eternal salvation to the souls of the lost. Now, the power of cleansing housed within these sacred grounds will prove a great boon in the battle ahead. Your will is my own, righteous Prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. They do really say the same lines a lot over and over. Also, something to note, literally only one of these sanctuaries have we gone and we've had any other characters other than Scarlet and Elaine. Though I do think most of these have been corny and one, so. Don't know what to say about that. A brilliant light. A sacral sword. Hmm. Look, the power of cleansing has taken physical form. It looks to be quite an impressive armament as well, one which we must be sure to make proper use of. Now then, we still have three sanctuaries remaining. Let us be off. Damn. But who to give this to? Me? Can you even take more another sword? Like, would this work for you? Sacral sword? I mean, I will lower your... Oh, uh, the trade-off because it's 20%. And she does use her skills a lot. Actually, maybe since... Actually, I think the best person, especially because she doesn't have good survivalness, it would actually be to give this to Leia. It's going to lower her crit rate. How much of a loss is that? Well, actually, anything she's going to lose lower her crit rate. But, maybe I can get back the stat loss by getting her second blade, the Wizard Ray. Ray Ray. Also, kind of feel. Where was it? Here is Medallion would also work really good for her. This whole area is only one area. Well, I do need to figure out where. The, how they get that. I, I need to figure out what's up with the these carvings because I do not know what's up with them. Like we have all these carvings that we've apparently never gone to. Is this another area we still haven't been to? Oh, sometimes the map is really weird to look at. Like. All right, but on that note, I think this is where I'm going to call it for the night, guys. So, Actually, I promise I call it on the night here. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed our show. Share, favorite, follow, like, spread it around. If you know others who'd be entertained by my show, send it my way. I'll happily entertain you all. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. It can only help out the channel. Channel. As you can see, I will actually give those benefits for 
that I stream, even though I literally could not do much with the whole actually showing off that I will do 10 push-ups. I will do 10 push-ups. And it's September. September. So it's 30% off on new new subs till October 1st. So it might be worth it for sub. And again, you can support the channel. And it's a very nice. I will appreciate whatever support you guys can give. So until next time, this is Nigel Offline.